Have you heard the expression, if you snooze, you lose? I'm afraid that may wind up becoming a reality for some people in the coming months. I've been encouraging people for a while now that are contemplating buying a home, maybe sitting on the fence, that now is a great time to buy. The Fed has already announced that they're going to be reducing the the interest rates next year three different times. The consensus is that once the Fed starts lowering the rates, there's going to be a lot of fence sitters that decide that they want to buy a home. And there's going to be a lot of people coming into the marketplace that compete for the few houses that that are available. Now, I believe there'll be some more houses that come on from the people that's selling, but I do believe that the competition for those houses that are on the market is going to be a lot greater than what it is Now, and what that's going to mean to you as a buyer is that sellers are going to be less willing to negotiate, less willing to take contingencies because they don't have to. Right now, the market's kind of slow. We're just working with a buyer tonight who has to sell their home in another state. They have to get a remote work letter. There's a couple of things that they have to work through before they're done with all of their contingencies. When the market heats up, the sellers are going to be less likely to work with those contingencies than they are today there's going to be a lot more people competing to purchase their home. They can be a little bit more picky about which offer they're accepting. My encouragement is that for anyone that's looking to buy a home in the next year, that now may be a good time to go ahead and get started so that you can avoid some of those complications or hurdles that I think is going to come into play when the market heats up 